My name's Kelly Atwood and I'm a site manager at Morgan Sindel Construction. Being a site manager means that I'm in sort of managing all, all the subcontractors on site, so all of the operatives, all of the supervisors, managing all the daily activities across all packages and that will include programme and progress to health and safety, to the quality of their works, and also some design elements we'll get involved with um, with the design team. So we we kind of cover everything that's going on site as, as a management role. So I'm working on a project in Aylesbury called Kingsbrook Secondary School. Um, it's a £37 million new school um, and it's a steel frame and a SIPS wrap. There's just over a thousand new uh, spaces for applications. So I'll be managing anywhere up to probably slightly just, just above 100 people a day when we're at full peak. So we are very early stages at the moment, we're only in week eight. Um, so yeah, literally just starting to pour foundations in preparation for a steel frame. I didn't really know what I wanted to do as, as a career uh, leaving school. I always really enjoyed um, anything to do with design, product design. And I sort of, with the help of some of my teachers at school, went and got some work experience with a construction company in design management. And then from there, I did two weeks work experience and they put me on a rotation. So I got to go through design management, health and safety, quantity staying, site management, obviously, planning. Um, and I sort of did two days in each department and sort of gave me a bit of a flavour for what, what we do as, as management companies. Um, and then from there I just, I really enjoyed site management. I decided that was probably the avenue that was more true to, to what I enjoy. Um, I like being out in the outdoors, not being office based. So I spoke to a few of the, the people that I was working with there and they recommended a university course. And that's kind of how, how I ended up here. I went to university, I got my degree and then I obviously came, came and worked for Morgan Sindel. The reason I picked Morgan Sindel was because of their ethos and the way that they look after their people and that's what really drew me to them. I always have said and I'll always stand by as, as a young person, male or female, um, how do you really know what you want to do until you've tried it? And that's where I think people just need to take a bit of a plunge, take a step try it. If you don't like it, you know you don't like it and then you can write it off. But if you do like it, then fantastic, you found what you want to do. If you don't try it, you'll never know. As a woman in construction um, and working on site, personally, I really enjoy it. I love it. Um, I don't believe that there are any boundaries. I know a lot of people think that there are still things stopping them from doing it. Um, and I don't believe that's true. I just think that there's still that um, stereotype around construction. Actually, women are really good at this job. I think there's still um, a, a preconception around construction that it's, it's a dirty environment um, and it's not for women. And I don't think that's entirely true. And I, I'd like to hopefully myself, along with lots of other women, are living proof of that. Um, Yes, you're working outside, and yes, it is, does sometimes get muddy, but equally, we're a management company, so we manage the works, we don't actually physically do the works. You're always gonna get some people that chat back a little bit more, or feel a little bit more awkward around you, but I think the thing is, is when you just have to act normal around them and just completely forget whether you're a woman or a man, it makes, it makes no difference, and actually, the majority of people that you work with now don't really view it any differently either. So they're all very open to it. People don't mind taking instruction from me, taking criticism. They, you know, they just deal with it. You have to. That's that's the, the modern age that we're living in now, isn't it? I was nominated for the CIOB Rising Star Award. It was the first time they um, they actually ran it last year and much to my <laughs> amazement, I actually managed to win the gold. So yeah, really, really thrilled about that.